house in the Bridge Street Band is in studio and when in studio now and then Saturday at the Grand Jazz Fest, you're gonna have a special vocalist Michelle Cummington is gonna be there. She's a regular vocalist. Yes, she can sing. Alright. Yes, this is very cool. And Walt Katowski Jr. is here as well. And Walt, why don't you introduce the, the players here and and again, this is half the band. We filled the studio, so <laughs> this is gonna be kinda cool. But go ahead, tell us who's in the studio with us. We got Don Newton on the drums over here. Alright, Don. Don's usually our percussionist. Uh, J.R. Simmons, one of our keyboards. Hey, J.R. Another fine keyboardist, uh, graduate of Fuller and Southern. Walt Katowski the third. All right. They call you Trey or anything snappy like that? Or? Uh, yeah, it's been in there once. All right. He's got about 100 nicknames. Yeah, I bet. Not too many of them are good either. <laughs> and Walt Katowski Jr., who uh, you, you may know if you vote in the city of Grand Rapids because you're a city commissioner and uh, owner of uh, Swift Printing. and. Um, Kind of a gadfly, aren't you? We're, we're having fun. <laughs> and uh, how long has this uh, this group been together in one form or another, Walt? Uh, you know, I've been playing. Uh, go back to the '80s, actually. We we're the house band for the Emily Grand Plaza back then. No kidding. So, yeah. Put ourselves through college and uh, well, it's been great. Walt uh, Walt the Third grew up obviously in a musical family, but did you, Walt? Uh, you know what? My dad has a hard time playing the radio. Okay. <laughs> so at some point you said, hey, uh, I can get girls with a guitar. Let's do that or something like that. Right? That's exactly. She had blonde hair. Uh -huh. Her name was Nancy Shaw. Uh -huh. She played guitar. I wanted to learn. All right. I got yeah. in her church group and the rest is history. I knew there was a story there. Tell me about, listen, before we play, I want to talk about Grand Jazz Fest. And uh, this is a big event. You're one of the bands that is going to be there. Lineup is is set and I'll go through the list here but um, uh, we want to mention that they've got great sponsorship their presenting sponsor is DTE Energy Foundation that's great and we want people to come downtown experience downtown Grand Rapids you know, get a meal get some lunch get some dinner along the way and enjoy a, a day's lineup of great jazz right it's gonna be great yeah they really have got some great talent Audrey Sundstrom has been working this thing it's been a dream of hers for I don't know how many years and in fact, this past weekend was the Monroe Jazz Festival, which uh, which hatched the idea for her, her and her lovely husband, city manager Greg Sundstrom, were mm -hmm. there this past weekend. Yeah, was he wearing a, a, t a special uh, Grateful Dead tie, Jerry Garcia tie? Or? I'm hoping he's wearing a Bridge Street <laughs> <pretty> shirt. <laughs> All right, well, pass him out, and I'll wear one for you while I'm a big billboard for you. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are you guys going to play? I mean, you brought the instruments in here. This is, I have to say, this is the most packed we've ever seen this studio with musical instruments. So congratulations, you're a record setter. I couldn't get out of here if I wanted to right now, yeah, but I don't think I want to. So what are you guys going to do? Well, we thought since the last time we were on your show, uh, it was actually with Tony Gates. Yeah. And so we thought an appropriate song would be dedicated to Tony and uh, with the cold duck time. Very nice. Very nice, Walt. All right. A song made popular uh, recently by uh, Chuck Lowe. And this is Walt Katowski and the Bridge Street Band, a portion of it anyway, on WJRW. 